Have you been asked to draw the NMR spectrum of ethanol? Well, that's a little bit of an unfair question, only because it's really tough to predict where the shift for an alcohol hydrogen is going to be. I can tell you that this one happens to be shifted about 2.6 ppm, but any other alcohol could give you any other number. And if you look it up, most textbooks tell you that this H is anywhere between one and five. How are you supposed to know? I don't think you're supposed to. In any case, what does matter here is that this H is not going to be split at all in a high resolution spectrum because the oxygen kind of insulates it. It's not going to be split and so it's going to appear as a singlet. These two hydrogens, which are chemically equivalent because they're connected to the same carbon, are adjacent to three others. That means it's going to be split into a quartet. There's something called the N plus one rule. It's adjacent to three hydrogens, so it splits into four smaller peaks. Likewise, this hydrogen is adjacent to two others, so it will be split twice into a triplet. Now, let's draw the low resolution one together first. I'm just gonna put a little thing here at zero ppm for TMS or tetramethylsilane. That's like the standard that we use. Now, we end up with a peak from this one at the lower end of the spectrum because it's farthest away from all of the electronegative atoms. So I'll just put a peak here, great. Now the H, I'm just gonna tell you is somewhere at 2.6. So I'll put it there. And then this one is kind of close to the oxygen but isn't the alcohol proton. So it's going to appear somewhere here. Now, if you look at the integrated area of these peaks, it's going to be a two to one to three ratio, which tells you that this peak is for that hydrogen this peak is for those two, and this peak is for those three. But you probably came here for the splitting pattern. And again, you have to worry about the hydrogens that each one is adjacent to, not including the ones insulated by electronegative atoms. So these three hydrogens are split into a triplet. If we were to draw a high resolution spectrum, we'd draw like a one to two to one ratio there. Triplets are always a one to one ratio, kind of symmetrical looking. This integrated area of one is not split. It will remain as a singlet. And then the integrated area of two, because there's two hydrogens here, is spread into a quartet. Quartets are often in a one to three to three to one ratio. If you're wondering how I memorized those, those actually come from Pascal's triangle, where each of these numbers is the sum of the two above it. When you split a peak multiple times, you end up with peaks that are in these ratios. What I mean is that these two middle ones in the, sorry, in the quartet, quartet means four, these should be triply as tall as these because it's a one to three to three to one ratio. Anyways, predicting the NMR spectrum of ethanol, I personally think is not worth, I don't even like, I can't find any sources that even say why the hydrogen here is at 2.6 ppm. Um, what matters is that you know that this is split three times into a quartet. This is split twice into a triplet and this one is not split. Again, most textbooks say it could be anywhere from one to five, and it's not your job to know where it is for ethanol specifically. There you go, NMR, ethanol. You're welcome. Best of luck.